Satisfying your sweet tooth could help solve a challenging social problem. Fox 4 Metro North reporter Jason Overstreet looks at how the chocolate business is helping train homeless people to turn around their lives in Collin County. In some ways, it's an ironic match. We use a very low Expensive heat. fine chocolate coming from inside a homeless shelter. I know a lot of people associate homelessness with drug addiction or alcoholism or, you know, people that are just lazy that don't want to work, and that's just not true. And Greater Goodies proves it. Earlier this year, the people at Collin County's Samaritan Inn realized they had an untapped asset. We have a certified kitchen that is typically empty from about 9.30 until 5 o'clock. The inn came up with a plan. Turn the kitchen into a candy business with the residents running the operation. First of all, they'll all become certified food service handlers, and they've all been exposed to areas of uh, business that they've never been exposed before. Somebody's and that's just it. what many people need. It gives you power to go out, to know that you know what you're doing, to go out and be able to be positive and get that job that you really want. From the Samaritan Inn, the chocolates then move to one of several McKinney stores where they go on the shelves and compete with everything else. I taste tested it, and um, it's a dark chocolate, and it's very good. So Spoon's Cafe sells the chocolates for a dollar a piece. Money from the sales keeps the program going. We want people to get job skills. We want to make some money that will, of course, support our program. And we want to get our name out there so that we can continue to educate people about homelessness. And just $100 in sales a day will train dozens of people a year how to get back on their feet again. In McKinney, Jason Overstreet, Fox 4 News.